So let's take a look at some of the uh, draft legislation for the Green New Deal. Mitigate deeply entrenched racial, regional, and gender-based inequalities in income and wealth including, without limitation, ensuring that federal and other investment will be equally distributed to historically impoverished, low-income, deindustrialized, or other marginalized communities in such a way that builds wealth and ownership at the community level. So this just means redistributing all of the wealth held by anybody in this country for any reason whatsoever that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez sees fit. What this has to do with protecting the environment, we have no idea. Mitigate deeply entrenched racial gender, blah, 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 blah. Not even just income. It's not even just raising taxes. It's actual wealth confiscation that is being listed in this draft legislation. Take money from anybody we want for any reason. Your race, your sex. They could say, okay, uh, yeah, Asians have too much money. All Asian people need to give away 25% of their wealth. And we're going to redistribute it, which really just keep it for the government. But we're going to redistribute it to, I don't know black people or Hispanic people or whatever. Because, because, oh, the Asians, they have too much money. The white people have too much money. Never mind, of course, that there is, ne never mind that there is huge uh, variation in the wealth among different races. Do we, if we're talking about the marginalized, historically oppressed communities, we're going to redistribute money to black people, say. That seems to be the implication. Do Beyonce and Jay-Z, they get a check from me? because of historical discrimination? That's what this says. I'm going to have to, me, Michael Knowles, I'm going to have to cut a check to Beyonce Knowles, who has, I don't know, her combined wealth with Jay-Z is what, a billion dollars? I'm going to have to cut a check for not just my income, for my wealth because of historical discrimination. Green New Deal. That'll protect the environment somehow. Uh, there will be additional measures, including basic income programs, universal health care programs, and any others as the select committee may seem appropriate, may deem appropriate. So now, just universal health care alone. They are saying we're going to allow the possibility of universal health care, red socialist medicine, as the committee deems appropriate, not as the legislature deems appropriate, not as the various states deem appropriate. No, no, no. This power to govern your life and death this power to govern what doctor you go to see, what medical insurance you're allowed to have. There won't be any more medical insurance. The government will control it all. You don't even get to make the decision as to whether or not that happens. One sixth of the American economy, the healthcare system, will be totally destroyed and demolished by some committee that Alexandria Ocasio Cortez sets up. Dictator Ocasio Cortez. She Guevara. And then. This is my favorite part. The majority of financing of the plan shall be accomplished by the federal government using a combination of the Federal Reserve and new public bank or system of regional and specialized public banks, public venture funds, and such other vehicles or structures that the select committee deems appropriate. And if you were confused by that, you can check in right now on the, uh, on the facts, the FAQs here. They say, how are they going to pay for this program? The, so the level of investment required is massive. Even if every billionaire and company came together and were willing to pour all their resources at their disposal, the aggregate value of the investments could not be sufficient. And the speed would be massive. So they're actually saying, no, we're not just going to tax the rich. We're going to take away wealth from everybody. Or, or maybe they won't. Maybe they won't take away the wealth from everybody. The way that they're going to do it is the same way that we funded the Second World War. It's the same way that we funded quantitative easing, the bank bailout. Quantitative easing is the key here. The way that they're going to do it is by printing money. That's what she says. When she's talking about the Federal Reserve and then we're going to work with them, extend, we're just going to print money because it's going to cost $40 trillion. So we're just going to print money. And then, truly, when we are not caricaturing this legend. We've gone through it line by line. Her plan for how to pay for it, she hasn't come up with a better answer than I don't know, is we're going to invent money. We're going to print it out of the sky. 